Lunita. So, Renmar, man, we might be looking at a jungle show. But for the last pick of first game oh! of the day, 1 0 na po tayo because of difficulties. Next play, Evos versus Blacklist International. Let's center the land okay. of dawn. And it's going to be a jungle Uranus. Yep. Uh, I wish I said this as an option earlier, but yes, jungle Uranus. So, same idea as having a jungle tank. And for Blacklist International, readjusting their approach to this uh, to this game, wherein yung diggy nila mag-uumpisa sa gold lane para matulungan si Owl. And that's gonna force a reaction by Cadenza. Oh wow, Owl, significantly low in the gold lane. Nice rotation galing kay Cadenza. Ngunit tignan nyo mga bomba ng Reyna. Napakasakit sa bot lane. I feel like that will force out a donut to recall, no? Because this is 50 HP. Magkamali ka lang ng tapak. Nahihirapan ka na. And in the mid lane, of course, Nelly Gaze. Oh no, wait lang, Cadenza making a play. First blood goes to next play, Eagles. And Lolita... Ever since the M3 World Championship, nakita natin ngayon kung bakit naging magandang option siya dahil sa pagbalik ng mga marksman option, the Guardians Bulwark is strong para si Haji dalikado sa mid lane. Nice flame oh, shot though, hinaapoy pa rin si Haji. But here comes Wise with the Paquito, left-handed punch at mukhang hindi naman ata papatol pa. And that's a nice defensive play coming in from Haji. The flame shot coming in clutch, muntika na siya dun. Oh, and Cadenza. Good thing that he adjusted his rotation as well na magiging two-man gold lane matchup ang makikita natin. You just have to be careful with the bombs and the pullbacks from the diggy. But good thing Oh My Venus picked up the Aegis as well. So, in case na mahuli lang si Al, may extra shield siya. Apple P siya, munti ka na mahuli sa mid lane. Yale Hayes, munti ka na siyang matamaan doon ng isa pang sapak Pero Flicker is burned, so worth it naman ang pag-dive ni Wise doon sa mid lane Turtle is already up, but I'm seeing a play in mid lane, no? Butaan natin agad yan, and Haji, he's on the top 10 HP Rene J, coming in with the kicks, it's a 4v1 It's going to the queen, it's a 1-1 kill score Flame shot mula kay Dominic, hindi tumama And this might just be the first turtle of the game going to the hands of Blacklist International Slight movement readjustment by Haji. Muntika na siya ma pick off ni Rene J. De Villa Bacarse. We know him as the hitman playing right now for NXPE. Could have been a really great pick off, but it was a great sidestep by Haji. Salik Imam para maiwasan ang si Pani Joe. And you know, yung ganong klaseng play, risky talaga yun. Pero alam naman natin that Rene J. loves those risky plays. Kaso nga lang, pag hindi gumana ganon, Nare reward ang kalaban and Turtle goes to the hands of Blacklist International. Ang ating gold score ay 600 or 800 pa lang naman lamang ang Blacklist International. So kaya pa naman bumawi ng NXPE dito. But in terms of power spike, Renmar, ano ba ang kailangan nating abangan? Dahil mukhang ang main carry dito ng next play Evo sa si Donut on this 1-1. Yeah, Donut and Ren J. Itignan natin, of course, the timing of Apple Peach as heart guard kung saan siya sa sanib. Ureshi on that Uranus, of course, will be oh, a difficult insane. target to referee against. Pero Haji at Wise, it's a mid lane. Huling huli ang Angela. Man, yung Angela, dahil nga na-burn yung flicker kanina, they're keeping the pressure up and tuloy-tuloy talaga ang pagpasok ni Wise sa mid lane. Ang hirap iwasan ng mga ganong klaseng ability, especially if you're looking at a Haji Kagura na talaga namang aggressive kung aggressive pero kaya din naman maging disiplinado. Short 1v1 here in the top side. Feeling ko mahirapan si Ren J dito makipag-trade dahil obvious yung kalaban. Oo. Bottom lane rotation, 4-man by Blacklist. Oh no, Cadenza, 3 ports on his HP. Now, Donut, may ulti pa naman, pero mukhang titigilan niya muna ang pag-giging agresibo against his lane matchup. And now, Wise is actually trying to jungle inside the enemy jungle. And I feel like ito yung kalamangan na pakito bilang an S-tier jungler. Ready, Jay! It's a 2v1! My back karoon niya ba ng hard cards? Nako, bumagsak na naman ang hitman. 0-2-0, now si Ureshi, half HP, makakapag-regen ng konti dito, 4 people, so make that 5 people from Blacklist International rotating mid lane to top lane para sa third set. Ureshi, bang ma-retry nyo ito? Tignan natin, battle. Oo, pero nakuha pa rin ni Wise. 
Del Rosario and Imam working together to take down Barcance in the mid lane. Pero si Cadenza, delikado. Nako, Cadenza, 50 HP, pero mukhang matatur na round play ata ni Donut. Nagahanap siya dito ng crossbow of tank. Oh, oh. Guard, guard. No reset just yet. Puno na naman kanyang HP dahil sa love of waves at walang makakakuha ng kill sa labanan na yun. Si Donut may corrosion scythe na... Ah, na siya, pero para maramdaman pa talaga natin ang damage ng 1-1 Kailangan pa niya ng mga items Owl and Donut with the assistance of their position 5 roamers Nakapag-farm silang dalawa, pero 3-man rotation para Blacklist! Oh no! Look at the damage coming in from Haji Pero boy, ba't naman si Donut si Cadenza na lang ang natin Oh, what a block! HP on Cadenza At para kapag-flicker pa nga Here comes Wise with a kill, with the jabs That's a double kill for Wise No, a triple kill pa nga Plus The orange buff na mananakaw din niya Blacklist International Very ahead in the early Padenza Hili ko si Donut sobrang saya dun kanina Kasi si Kedenza napablock niya Yung flame shot ni Haji Gamit ang Guardians Bulwark Pero hindi nakita nila yung ibot na sa likod na pala nila Si Wise on to pakita 4-0-1 And mind you, if you are a new viewer of MLBB Esports. Why is Danry James El Rosario Paquito? We don't see him play the Paquito often. So this is yeah, a unique lang, experience eh, no? that we're seeing. Minsan lang talaga. And right now, 4-0-1 dito. Si Wise. Napakagaling talaga ni Wise. So, si Mr. Del Rosario na gumagamit ng mga hero na mahilig manapak. We know him first, Aldous, pero nananapak din naman si Paquito. Three people up top side for the side of Black International. Nakapag-trade naman ang turret sa baba si Donut, pero Rene J taking a lot of damage. Hindi pa maka-clear ng minions kahit pa paano. This is, uh, I think, another turret going to the hands of Blacklist International. The turret is already up. Here comes Dominic. They're going for Donut. Rosbo of Tangri. Jenkin niyang overturning dito. Mababato ka sa damage with the combo coming here from Wise. Stun ay tumama pero babasak na rin si Donut. It's still a 4v3 situation. Dominic still alive pero mukhang sasabog na nga. Apple P siya. Very low HP. Gihilahin pabalik. And Diggy traps will only get the Denza. Ureshi ang tatangke. And that is a trade won by Blacklist International. A 2 for 1 possible turtle as well for Blacklist. Oh, para makatawid sa late game. Kailangan hindi mo matay na next play Evos, well obviously Pero kailangan din nila mag-build ng mga defensive items Kasi sobrang sakit ng burst damage ng Blacklist International Across the board, they have burst damage The Paquito, the Fovius pag nagde-demonic force na siya Hadji's uh, Kagura And of course, Al na nakabuo na siya the Ng Blade of Despair Masasakit pa ang damage ng Blacklist International Next play Evos Kailangan lang nila kumapit at makabuild ng items nila. Oh, here comes the demonic force, Donut. Mahihirap ang tumakas dito. Look at the damage. Baka pag-reset. Oh! Denied by Dominic. And now, nag-set-split push na lang si Renegade. Pero 5v3 naman nandito. Apple Fisha with the heart card. Boy, parin si Oreshi. Mga kapag-reset niya. Kailangan ng Tore. That's one kill. Go to the rest of the next play, Evos. At kailangan na mag-back ng Blacklist International. Wait lang, hindi pa pala tapos They're going into the screen Si Diggy, hinahanap Basta ka tandaan is coming in From Owl, Owl Nagahanap pa ng isa si Ureshi Kailangan na mag-back And that is one turret Going to the hands of next play Evos Hindi na bagsaga ng inhibit ang turret Blacklist International With a great Good effort by Lagronio And Bataanon Na muntikan na sila Nung makuha ng double kill Pero sakto sa pagbaba ni Apple Pisa from the hard guard ready ready si Al magpato ng quick draw munti ka na nga magpato ba doon si Del Rosario oh si Delia Luna but the Aegis just in time clutch Aegis and of course Al with the quick draw and looking at the goal score no medyo may malaki na ang kalamangan ng Black Lives International pero wala pa namang nababasag na inhibitor turret Del Rosario, mukhang mga agaw muna na orange pop roll at sumabog sa kamao si Cadenza na ata ang sunod. Dominic looking for another kill. Flame shot! Block by Apple Fisha. Nice play galing kay Kapitan Yeli Hayes at mid lane na ang call ng Black Lives International. Nagaanap sila ng pwede ng tapusin ni Abba pero dalawa lang ang kanilang minions. Mukhang kailangan na nila mag-back pero nagda-damage pa rin ng popok pa rin ang kapupunan ng Black Lives International. Barcarce in the hub of Del Rosario. Renjay getting chased here by Wise. Renjay safe. 
just being able to build now the Blade of Despair. High and dry, Cho. So, again, next play even thing. Kung makakapit lang sila makabag depends pa sila. Seems like they might be able to turn things around. Again, malaking problema ang first damage na meron ang Blacklist International. The next play, Evos, making the most out of Renu J's split pushes. And this is a good call by NXPE na sa mga sitwasyon na to, kung meron ka namang split pusher na mobile, mabilis makabasag ng tore, pwede rin makatakas kung merong isa o dalawang maghahabol sa kanya. And this is what they have to do and this is a right thing. But now, Blacklist International, malapit na nila basagin ng isa pang inhibitor-based turret ng next play Evos. That's the second inhibitor turret for the side of Blacklist International. Both play na lamang natitira sa next play Evos at umaabot na nga ng almost 10k gold feed ang meron ng Blacklist International. Split push na lamang ang call ng next play Evos dahil may hihirapan silang manalo ng teamfights pero mukhang no choice na ata sila. With the Lord, marching down mid lane. This might be the GG push call. Coming in from Blacklist International. Here comes Cadenzo with a play. Walang matatamaan sa kanyang noon ng blast. Hachi going in. Makaila agad si Yelly Ace. Dominic doon sa backside. Donut! Bumagsak na loob ng face. That's a double kill para kay Dominic. Lord ay buhay pa rin. Dalawa na lamang natitira. Si Renny Kane na lang ang natitira para mag-defend. Ahabulin pa rin ni Dominic. Habang ang Lord ang lumaham pa sa base. Game number 2 ay mapupunta sa Blacklist International. That is now a 2-0 lead for Blacklist International. A unique lineup by Next Play Evos. Again, in terms of how they drafted that and the adjustment.